Hi, Lee here from Finding Country in Derbyshire and welcome to our October 2021 market update report. So, it remains interesting times for the housing market with house price growth across the UK at its highest level in 17 years with double digit growth reported across most areas. On average, we have seen a 13.2% increase in house prices registered from land registry in June of this year, and that's the highest level since 2004. We do need to be aware though of all these sensationalized figures, as there are signs of a slowdown in certain segments of the market. And while supply and demand remains heavily in favor of the sellers, it is hard to see prices falling in the short term, but this chronic shortage of homes and the shrinkage of the market will undoubtedly have more of an impact the longer this continues. Indeed, we have seen figures from Dataloft, which show across the last quarter, the national figures for uh, mortgage approvals has been 5.1% lower and gross mortgage lending actually declined by a 4.2% across the quarter. There's also been a report that 14% drop in residential transactions occurred in the previous quarter also. And that was mainly due to the rush to beat the stamp duty incentives obviously from the quarter before, but it's still a headline to be aware of. So in temperature, what do we actually see? Well, I've been looking into the overall size of the market. And what is clear to see is that the number of people in the market looking to move home at present remains subdued. 60% under offer, great news. But currently, across the region I cover, there are 7,284 homes advertised through Right Move, either available or under offer. If we look back over the last four years, though, in 2018, we had 8,800. 2019, nearly 9,000 homes. So it's around 19% lower than pre-COVID market levels. That's a fifth of the market. And it's even more stark if you look back to this time last year, where there are actually over 11,000 homes on the market, mainly buoyed by lockdown phenomenon and people's really wanting to get moved uh, following that, uh, that initial lockdown coming to an end. So what do we actually see happening for the remainder of this year? Well, people still have a desire to move. That's why supply and demand is so heavily in favour of the sellers. Life goes on, but many people are also sit tight and wait. Don't forget, COVID hasn't gone away entirely. And supply chain issues at the moment are even impacting in people's confidence or the ability to even obtain certain products that you need to get those important jobs done before you bring your home to the market. We've also seen an increase in valuations taking place throughout September. So people do still want to know what the house is worth. But we see an understandable reticence to then come to the market, particularly bearing in mind there isn't a great deal of choice out there to buy. And people still have uncertainty over job security as we enter into this final quarter of the year. I also feel we may see less activity through December this year as people look to make up for the lack of a real Christmas in uh, 2020. The fact is, homes are needed to meet the demand that we currently have, and you could achieve a record price for your property in today's market. I've analysed the office statistics, and I'm really delighted to report yet again that we are still maintaining our record of selling for more than the quoted asking prices. And year to date, we're actually now hovering at 103% across all of the homes that we have exchanged contracts on throughout the year. Areas of particular demand still remain East Staffordshire villages with easy access to Litchfield, Trent Valley, Duffield and anything particularly in the Ecclesbourne School catchment area. And as always, both Ashbourne, Matlock and all those surrounding villages at the moment remain areas where we have buyers who are waiting to find a property. So that's it for this month. I hope you found it useful. And always, if you have any questions about the report, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us on the following contact details.